I wanted to show you an improvement we've made to the overall installation experience for the Mac Stick R3 app, right? So uh, prior to this release, uh, our app was essentially a zip file that you'd have to extract and then uh, it run a uh, script that was within it to basically install the Mac Stick uh, R3 uh, app. So this essentially makes it into a full-blown Windows installer uh, that takes care of all of that for you. So all you have to do is now you'll download an exe file and when you double click on it, it will basically open up the installer, right? It comes up with a, first of all, a EULA and then it asks, it tells you some information here uh, and then it asks you where would you like to install it and because I've had this installed before it may uh, tell me that the folder exists, that's fine, I'm going to say yes. Uh, then it gives you some additional tasks, right? So would you like to create a desktop shortcut? Sure. Would you like to launch the R3 app on System Startup? That's really important if you just want to start playing a game without having to launch the app every time. And then would you like to clean up any older app shortcuts in the startup menu and that's because uh, when you were using the zip file version you may need to uh, delete that right and so it's fine to, to have that checked off either way so i'm gonna hit next i'm gonna hit next again and it recognized that it that this computer did not have vig and bus driver installed so it's going to say hey uh, well, let's run the installer for that i'm going to agree to the licensing terms i'm going to install it i'm going to accept the uh, uac and then uh, it finishes, that's fine. And now it's basically saying, would you like to restart the computer now, right? And so generally you wanna say yes to this and uh, that will just make sure that uh, when you start up the computer, it'll be a fret, you know, MacStick app will be running. Uh, I'm going to say no just so I can move forward. Uh, right now, the MacStick app isn't running, right? And it won't, it, when you know it's running, you'll find it in the system tray here, or if you hit this arrow button here, it'll be here, right? So let's try it now. I'm going to double click on this and it's going to run it. And it tells you that it's in the system tray icons, right? So, uh, and you can find it right here. So you can bring it down if you want and pin it so you can see it's running. That sort of thing. So uh, there you go. That's it. Uh, it's a pretty simple install. And uh, anytime you want to uninstall it, you can go to your start menu and essentially uh, run uh, the uninstaller.